Hey, this is Rich from Lower West Side Studio, and today we're going to take a look at an interesting feature of Paya's MIDI to CV uh, control voltage from MIDI module. Um, originally, the Paya module, part of the 9700 uh, Paya rack kit, was built for FRAC format. However, I converted mine to uh, an MU format, as you see here, uh, basically because I wanted to use it in my uh, my dot com format synthesizer. Uh, basically, you've got uh, quarter inch jacks instead of eighth inch jacks, and I, I retain the same format with uh, uh, the dip switch uh, placement here, and your MIDI in, and your MIDI through uh, over here. And what we're going to look at today is a feature of version 3 of the firmware, which gives the, uh, gives the module some pretty cool functions. And the one we're going to look at this uh, this demo is mode number 7 which is the duophonic mode. And this is really kind of cool because it gives you uh, a duophonic capability with your modular synthesizer, which as you probably know, is uh, a monophonic only device. So let's look at the uh, outputs. When you switch your dip switches to mode number seven, um, you've got your pitch uh, high note priority output here, your gate for your high note here, your pitch for your low note, and your gate for your low note. Uh, then you've got attack velocity, aftertouch, pitch wheel, and mod wheel, which we're not going to play with today because I don't want to get too much into it, but just show you some neat features. I've got my high note priority set to a synthesizers.com Q106 uh, at four feet. We've got the oscillator tuned. Uh, the low note priority is going to a second oscillator, uh, 16 feet, also a Q106. The two gate put outputs are going to two separate Q109 envelope generators, synthesizers.com as well. And the output of everything, the gates and the control voltages, are, er, and the audio output, excuse me, are going to two Oakley Classic VCAs. And I'm using one audio and one gate into each VCA. So without further ado, we'll trigger something on the keyboard here. And... That in and of itself isn't isn't too difficult to do. I mean, you can do that with a multiple, basically, if you come out of uh, a regular MIDI interface like the Q174. You can go into a multiple and then put your control voltages into each oscillator. But what you can't do with the with the 174 or with a lot of other MIDI interfaces is you can't get that duophonic out of a single output or out of a single module. For example, let's go. And uh, that, that coming out of a single module with a single MIDI input is a kind of cool effect. You get that duophonic effect. I can also adjust the uh, envelope generators a little differently. So <laughs> coming on, you know, you've got different envelope for... That in and of itself is kind of neat. Um, it's a sort of interesting feature with the, uh, which is available on the Paya module. Uh, Paya, uh, the MIDI to CV, the 9700S as it is, uh, also has uh, 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 several other other really cool uh, modes. Uh, the first mode is your standard uh, uh, MIDI to CV, giving you uh, single pitch, gate, trigger, mod wheel, and so forth. But I thought I'd show this neat little feature because um, it's available.